Breaking news, Nigerians. So far, so good. Nigerian security operatives shot dead 13 protesters, including women and children, in fresh kind of violence. Nigerian government, they try. No fewer than 13 people, including women and children, have been confirmed dead in Kano State as unarmed protesters were attacked by security operatives on Saturday amid the ongoing nationwide protest. It was learned that the violence erupted in Rajia Lemo Kuna to Bachirua areas in Fagi local government Kaufi Nasarawa in Kano and the Yungwa Ukwa area of Taruni local government of the state. In a video seen by Sahara reporters, thousands of protesters, peaceful protesters, were carrying on their constitutional duty in a major street in the in the state before being accosted by armed security operatives whom fired tear gas at them. This made some of the protesters confront the police, turning the situation into a violent clash as some policemen were captured in the video brutalizing the protesters. A source privy to the situation confirmed the number of casualties to Sahara reporters, adding that many people were also injured. In Kano, 13 people are confirmed killed, sir, including women and children, the source said. Record that the state government on Thursday imposed a 24-hour curfew after the nationwide and bad governance protests turned violent in the states. Sahara reporters also reported how a newly built Nigerian Communications Commission, N6C Industrial Park in the state was vandalized by unknown people masquerading as protesters, reacting the President Bola Tinubu led administration later revealed that there were about 150 new computers and laptops inside the looted facility. Photographs obtained by Sahara reporters showed numerous individuals making off with stolen items, including furniture, electronics, and equipment from the N6C office. Speaking of the incident, when he appeared on Chanex TV on Thursday night, the Minister of Digital Economy, Bosu Tijani, said the facility was completely vandalized by the misgrants. President Tinubu had also scheduled Sunday morning to address Nigerians over the ongoing nationwide protest over bad governance in the country. This was announced in a press statement issued by his aide Bayo Ononoga on Saturday via X platform saying that the president will address the nation in a broadcast on Sunday, August 4th, 2024 at 7 a.m. The statement continued. Television, radio, and other electronic media outlets are enjoyed to plug into the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, and the Federal uh, Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FROCN, for the broadcast. The broadcast will be repeated on the network services of the NTA and the F. ROCN at 3 a.m. and 7 p.m. on the same day. Well, we are not, we are not expecting any too much from uh, President Balama. I'm, I'm a tenable-led government. They will come and play here 
play a record recorded transmission for us i don't know how this will help anybody because the way when they find nigerians this is not how to go about it first of all you go on uh uh tear gassing people now you the first they find trouble this is unfair you get now then go first trigger the people and now I still they buy them what's wrong you talk to these people in a very peaceful way you understand i saw what happened in lagos the first the second day i saw some policemen you know buying such a water for the protesters in their van, in one particular area in Lagos, policemen, they bought a uh, sachet water. They were giving protesters. Okay, tell me how problem we erupt in such areas. This is not good. Though. We are waiting to see <laughs> what President Bola Metinobu will tell Nigerians. But I don't think there's still going to be any difference. He said Nigerians will protest or can protest as they could. The first source subsidy can never be removed. If you said the first subsidy is for the good of the people who you said, he, you know, that voted for you and the people are now saying, no, we are no longer comfortable with this. Why can't you, why can't you, you know, make a change? You don't cut, uh, you, you refuse to call down governance. The only thing Nigerians are benefiting from the government is removal. And you are saying Nigerians are not hungry. All is well with Nigerians. Don't protest. Well, let's see how things unfold in future. But with what is going on, we have interesting times ahead. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.